Okay. Yeah. And that was a defining moment for me because I wanted that relationship. I wanted a father relationship. Yeah. And I realized that I could get it from God in a way better way because my earthly father was far from perfect. But I loved him. Mm. And he loved me and I knew that. And I think really coming into that space of saying, I need to figure myself out. But I don't know myself. But I do believe that there's a gentleman who's somewhere up there who I've heard knows me more than anybody else. I need him to start opening up. Um, yeah. Um, I need him to start opening up who I truly am to myself. And I started embarking on that journey and having a relationship with God in a sense that it's not um, church related, mm. it is not people related, but mm. it is what I believe God is in my heart and my heart says to me. Mm. And um, I mean, after everything that I've been through, I really think that part of my purpose is to heal and relate to people. Yeah. Mainly because that's something that's always been in my heart and it's something that I've been led to. But my relationship with God becomes the center in a sense that God is so real to me. It's like He's next to me and He's flesh. Yeah. Um, I never see Him as this man upstairs that I need to like sing a song to call down. <laughs> you know, that whole yeah. ritualistic thing yeah. for me becomes more, He's a friend, He's a father. And it's easy for me, it's not easy, but I mean, it's, 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 um, I mean, I'll use easy for like a better word yeah. to relate to God because yeah. I had a father figure and I kind of knew what it felt like to be a dad. Yeah. I kind of, I knew what it felt like to have a bad day and just run on his shoulders and say, "Daddy, it was terrible." Yeah. You know, I, I, I knew what it feels like to have a heartbreak and run to his shoulder and not even say it's a heartbreak, but he would know you just went through a heartbreak, yeah. but he would say the right things. Yeah. And he would embrace you and. Um, I, I kind of knew what it felt like to have a dad that says you're 16, let me teach you how to drive. You know, just that led me to the right step. So, yeah, I, I hope that gives a bit of clarity as far as my relationship. But I think also growing up into learning who God is in my life and how He works with me and learning that, like the Word of God says, we are called to serve. You know, um, and that's been my greatest pleasure in everything that I do business in my show and on social media is just to serve and um, servanthood to a lot of people seems mm. like a slave you know yeah. seems like the person that doesn't that just does all the miniature stuff yeah. but when you read it, the word of God it says that the servant is Jesus was a servant mm. you know um, he, he made the greatest sacrifice I think for me that's that's really what my life has been about in terms of just serving and representing God yeah I hope that answers the it question. Does. Yeah, that's, that's really about it.